Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a bump corsage. Some people call this a maternity sash and these are the supplies I'm using. I'm going to get started by prepping my florals and my foliage. I'm just going to trim them up and set them off to the side. Um, I just want to get them off the larger stems. Now I'm going to measure out my stretchy lace. You can buy this at Hobby Lobby. Um, it, it's exactly what it says. It's just stretchy lace. It's just perfect for a project like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it all off the roll and I want to find the middle. Once I found the middle uh, part of the lace, I'm going to prepare a base. I uh, purchased this uh, peel and stick felt from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna cut it to fit in the middle part of that lace. And um, it's just, it's a good barrier for me to glue my flowers onto. This peel and stick uh, felt was pretty sticky on the back. However, I'm gonna reinforce that with some glue. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue down the middle and place it onto the lace. Next, I'm gonna start uh, kind of mapping out my foliage and my flowers onto that felt. I just trying to get an idea of how I wanna place the uh, ranunculus is what they're called and the foliage. Now that I have an idea of how I want to place them, I want to make sure that the stems are all completely cut to the actual flower. You want it as a flat a surface as you can get. And I'm just going to start gluing and placing my flowers onto the felt. I'm actually making this project in my kitchen. Um, my craft room is not put back together. We came home from a trip and we noticed a leak underneath the sink. So we had to gut the kitchen and we moved everything out of our house and we put it in one of those, uh, those Connex, Connex boxes or, you know, like pods or whatever you call them. Um, I, th I believe ours is called pack rat. Anyway, all of my supplies, most of my supplies and most and my whole craft room is in that box in the driveway still. We just have to move everything back into the house but I got a brand new kitchen. Now that I have all of the flowers placed onto the felt, I'm gonna go back in with some foliage and I'm just gonna place them where there are some bare spots and I'm just gonna get creative with it. I'm just layering my flowers and my foliage. Then I'm gonna go back with some um, embellishments and I'm gonna place those in as well. Um, these, these flowers you can find at any craft store, um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, they have a whole section where it's just corsage flowers. So they're smaller and they're actually more affordable than if you buy a whole stem. Sometimes I buy a whole stem and then sometimes I'll just buy those little um, uh, corsage boutonniere flowers or embellishments they have a whole section and uh, it's great for projects like this
Now I'm going in with these sprays with pearls on them. This was also found in that section at Hobby Lobby with the uh, boutonniere and corsage um, supplies were. So I'm just adding these in just for an extra touch. Be sure to wear your finger guards when you're working with hot glue. Um, it's not supposed to be so hot that it burns your skin. Um, I just take it as an extra precaution and I bought these at the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going in with a different kind of foliage than what I started with. This is more like a eucalyptus, just to add some more texture, a different color. I had to move this closer to me so I could check out the other side, make sure I didn't miss anything. And that's when I discovered I actually glued it to the mat. So, but I got it off, nothing fell apart. And uh, next I'm going to put these pearls in the middle of the ranunculus flower to, to cover up that plastic middle. And what I did was put a little drop of glue and then um, place it onto the actual glue on the flower. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna put glue in the middle of the flower and then pop a pearl on top. These are, um, they do have a sticky back, the pearls do, um, but I always put extra security with the hot glue. I was gonna add some ribbons to this, but to be honest with you, I kind of messed with one and I, I put it in and I, did, I really did not like it. I thought it was just beautiful with just the flowers, the pearls and the foliage. Now that I have all the flowers and the pearls and everything in place, I'm going to put another piece of this self-adhesing uh, peel and stick felt on the back side of the lace because I don't want any like rough bumps because uh, I don't want her to feel it when she puts it on. So I want to make it as smooth as possible on the back side.
Okay, friends, this is my completed project. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.